What's up my people? Bless upon yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys, I think I said this yesterday also. Right farmer schemas gang member charged with murder of two boys. Seen a farmer member of the dreaded ski mask gang was today charged with the triple murder of two boys who attend chetwood memorial primary and a man from flower hill st james travis tummins who was arrested on november 9 by the st james police was positively identified as the shooter in an id parade earlier today he was later officially charged with three counts of MURDER possession of a prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony. Tommins, who has a flower ill address, also frequents the baritone area in St. James where he was held during a sting operation. Our news team will continue update in this developing story. Some people the two look youth will get caught up and drop out the other day in a St. James and the man will get caught up and drop out in a the same taxi where them did in a them see other brother ya a him at the trigger man you see me i say so somebody will see what go on or maybe a next person where them all lamp and for the shooting identify him as the trigger man maybe at the taxi driver or whoever you see me i say so let me know what you think in the comment section people and this a kind of old news too. Man shot and killed another injured in Anova. 37-year-old Adrian Anglin, a taxi operator of Salt Spring, Green Island, Anova, was shot dead while another man was shot and injured in Green Island Square in the parish yesterday. Reports from the Lucy Police are that about 4.50 p.m. Anglin was sitting among a group of people in a car park when he was pounced upon by gunmen traveling in a Toyota field of motor car who alighted from the vehicle and opened fire at them. After the shooting subsided, Anglin and another man were seen with gunshot wounds and were taken to hospital where Anglin was pronounced dead and the man was treated investigation continues so let me know what you think in the comments my people so that one here is a breaking news you know what i mean a shooting go on in a downtown kingston right and them see a entertainer look like an upcoming artist get caught up and drop out in the shooting see an entertainer was one of two men shot dead by gunmen on Beckford Street in downtown Kingston Sunday morning. A third man was shot and injured during the incident. The entertainer has been identified as M. Name Venom, seeing he was reportedly from Orange Street in Kingston. The other man was named as 42 year old Kirk Palmer. A igla from Chancery Lane also in Kingston. The wounded man is a 25-year-old security guard, the police said. Reports are that around 1.15 a.m. Venom and Palmer were at a location where Palmer's common law wife operates a clothing stall and a hangout. Police said they were approached by a group of men traveling on foot and armed with guns who opened gunfire. When the shooting subsided, it was discovered that both men were shot several times. Venom died on the spot while Palmer was transported to hospital where he was confirmed dead. The wounded man reported that he was returning from work when he heard explosions and began running. He later realized he had been shot in the right lower arm. His injuries are not considered life-threatening. No motive has yet been established for the attack, the police said. Jaja. So you see this man here? Yeah? He might come off of him work, you know. I end up on the wrong spot at the wrong time. You see that, my people? So any more information, people, I'm going to share it with you guys. So we are going to move on, people, to a 
elderly man will get juke up and drop out in a senti. Right? Elderly farmer found dead outside St. Bess home. An elderly man was found dead outside his home at Red Bank in Junction, St. Elizabeth, Sunday morning. He has so far been identified as Alberta Powell, a farmer who is believed to be in his 60s. Residents reportedly found the now deceased lying on the ground behind his three-bedroom concrete structure in a pool of blood. The residents summoned the police who saw Powell's lifeless body lying on its back with what appeared to be a stab wound to the throat. He was clad in grey colored track pants, a blue and white long sleeve jogging type shirt, blue and white colored polar brand sneakers and a white pea cap. Paul was reportedly last seen alive about 4.30 p.m. on Saturday at a neighbor's home. One of the back doors to Powell's house was half open, the police said. Jaja, R.I.P. to this man and condolences to his family so we are gonna move on to the next my people man shot dead in golden spring saint andrew police are now on the scene of the murder of a man in golden spring saint andrew residents so far identified the man as kojo a resident of the area preliminary reports suggest that about 11 a.m the man was shot dead by a gunman on the road a crash car was also seen and a wrecker. Police team from Lawrence Tavern and Constant Spring are among those on location. More details as soon as there is more to this story, people. We share it with you guys. Right now, it's a breaking news. So let me know what you think in the comment section. We have a look of video with a brother where I think him name. I remember where him name. But him dep on the most wanted list in a Jamaica. See, I think him can up a man. I don't know if the man drop out or the man injured. I look on the most wanted list and I see him. I see a name, but I can't put the face them together, people. I don't lie. So I don't want to see him when I know him. You see me I say? I don't really want. So I go just give you know, the video and tell me. Want to think in the comment section? So I think him name Dujan. Me not sure if I use when name Dujan. This Dujan, him can up somebody, but them not drop out. But I think that brother ya we attack him can up somebody and them drop out. I'm not a hundred percent sure. You see me? So check out the video, me people. Me I go just put it right here. So I wanna tell me wanna think in the comment section. Alright. Jamaica. This video will not be edited. So if any mistake making it, I just that. Alright. It's been weeks, months since every week I'm being featured on this wanted Wednesday. Yeah? Alright, let me explain myself some. The only reason why I not tell him myself to the police is because I shot that boy in a self-defense. You understand? And the gun I used was an illegal gun. The only reason. If it wasn't for that, I would have done turn in myself already. You understand? So, the bear the fact say it was an illegal gun, but also holding the fact that I was defending myself. No man never lift up them waist in front of me and feel like them all get to do me anything. Regarding if it was a knife, a machete, a gun. You understand? So, simple to say this, I was just defending myself. I don't want the just ever push one narrative like me is a bad man or anything, you see me? Because just putting out a picture and say wanted for shooting and then there is no story behind it. It's very. Like, look, let me tell you this, man. When I see things like this happen and people keep on being featured on this wanted Wednesday thing. But for what? This shooting incident took place almost six years ago. See? But it's still, it'll be featured every week and them take this thing for a gimmick. This is people's life when I play with, yeah? And people have kids and, have, and family too. And I remember that. You understand? So when you get up, there's a lot of events that take place in, a, in a Jamaica. Anthony Anderson, pay attention. 
Pay attention to your people who work for you. Pay attention to who you have in your, in your body, in your police force. You come from army, you understand. He's an ex soldier. You know this. All right, look. Who would be behind this thing and push it? It's based off a criminal intent, you know. So, more on a level in yourself and, and look in our own order and know who a sanction and who a push me being wanted and like I don't want to portray me to be like the most wanted person in Jamaica for what? What me do for? Well, me do something, but look much man out there do so much more things. You have more people out there with more them, 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 them need more attention than me. Why would I place so much attention to me alone? So you have to look in at the politics of this and look who I push it, who the behind of this thing keep on get put out so much. You see me? It would have come like say, I'm here send them bomb check in a Jamaica or I'm here commit them triple murders. You see me? Look how much recently a murder go on down there. Yeah? And on the still no name, who commit the murder? You understand? I understand how the investigative work. Check on the investigative body. Check on the force. Check on the CIB department. Check who are linked with criminal and other criminal activities. You understand? And stop doing the fuckery. 